I hasn't been in the water too long, but I'm, you can see I'm out there about five and a half feet deep. And that's my strategy. Everybody else is kind of hitting this uh, swimming area, but they're all, and I'm just trying to stay deeper than everybody else. And uh, so far it's, it's paid off. You know what that means, right? We're headed to a lake. I uh, had a free afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna head out to a lake that I haven't hunted in about a, a month and a half. But the last time I went, I really killed it with four rings and uh, necklaces and other things. And this is one of those lakes, it's about an hour and 15 minute drive away for me, but it's one of those lakes where there's, there's no other lakes around it. It's just this one lake, so it gets a lot of activity. But I don't know who really hunts this area or don't. And it's kind of one of those things, if you get on it at the right time, you find lots of stuff. And if you get on it right after someone hunted, you find nothing at all. And so it's a long drive home. So I'm going to take the risk this afternoon. I'm going to go over there and hit this lake and see what I can find. And on the way home, I'm going to stop at the lake that has been really good to me, the one that's nearby my house. And it's been real good to me this year. I found a lot of rings and necklaces and all types of stuff out there. In the videos that you've seen, a lot of that stuff has come from that lake. And uh, so it's really been producing, and I'm gonna hit it before I go home. And then tomorrow's my day off. I'm gonna spend all day tomorrow at the lakes. I don't know if I'm gonna go north, east, south, or west. We'll just see, throw up a, a blade of grass and see which way the wind is blowing, and uh, I'm just gonna go that direction. Um, but I'm gonna start something new in my videos, uh, starting this video. And I'm gonna ask a trivia question somewhere in the course of this video. And uh, it's going to be about me. It's going to be about my Preacher Digger channel uh, or Facebook or Instagram or something that I posted or a video that I made. It's going to be something that, that you have seen in the videos or a post or something like that. And if you're the first one to answer that trivia question, you're going to win a Preacher Digger sticker. And who knows, I may throw in a special surprise in there too. So we'll just see. But you'll at least get a Preacher Digger sticker and possibly something else. So somewhere through my video watch the whole thing and somewhere in the course of that i'm going to just in the midst of a, a find i'm going to kind of secretly put it in there and i'm going to ask a trivia question and uh, if you be the first one to answer that trivia question correctly then i'm going to send you a preacher digger sticker and maybe a surprise to go along with it so check it out watch the video all the way to the end because it could be at the end it could be at the beginning it could be in the middle it could be right in between a scoop cam shot who knows where i'm going to put it in there so we're going to have fun with it anyway i appreciate you playing along and so i've got a little bit further to go and so i'll turn the camera back on and i'll see you out in the water well i made it out to the lake there's nobody out here so hopefully no one's hunted it so hey let's hope let's get out there and water see what we can get well i got a 60 here it's my first target out here it's gonna be a nice uh, uh a diamond silver bracelet i don't think the diamonds will be real in it but uh it looks silver, but I'll have to look and see if it's white gold and diamonds. I think it's going to be silver plated or something like that. Anyway, that's a nice find. First target. Been out here about 10 minutes. All right, let's keep going. Well, stayed out here about an hour and a half. Found a handful of change and a couple pull tabs and found that one bracelet, that's all I found. So it's like I said, either it's been hit and there's nothing there or you'll be the one to hit it and get it all. But got that one nice bracelet though. We'll look at it later on in the wrap up. But uh, I'm gonna head on out to the next lake. I'll see you out in the water. Well, I'm out here chin deep on tiptoes, just trying to get out, reach out far as I can on the down slope, because I know there's some other people that are detecting this lake, but they're not as quite as tall as I am. 
and they don't have a long handle scoop as I do. So I know that if I just stay out in the deep water, I might get something. And I just got a, uh, I don't know, it's like a 41 signal, 4041 signal, and it's a dog tag, it's a necklace. And it says, to my gorgeous husband, and it has a bunch of other stuff on it, too fine for me to read right now. I'll read it to you in the wrap up. But anyway, uh, at least if my strategy's paying off down on the downslope out in the deep end. So let's keep going and see what we can get. out here at about chin deep water and uh, got a 69 signal and uh, got it looks like a white gold diamond ring I have to look at it in here just a little bit and see if uh, if it's white gold or not but it's definitely ringing up like a gold ring uh, wood that small all right hey, that's a good fine let's keep on looking I'll let you know at the wrap up what it is or in the video here as you watch me dig it up you'll see what it is all right, made it out to the next location. Uh, let's see what we can come up with. Let's get in the water. And I have dug many bobby pins throughout the years here at the pool, but uh, never dug a gold bobby pin with a stone on it. That's fake, but hey, if you're going to dig one, why not dig one of these, right? All right, let's keep going. see them out here almost chin deep water uh, I was in chin deep water I just moved up where I can stand up but what would it be it wouldn't be an episode without a cross would it all right preacher digger done got his cross for this uh, this video pretty nice little cross uh, it's ringing up like a 47 and uh, really hard to get because it's so deep out here and uh, all right well maybe out in the deep end this is where everything is so we're gonna keep going across I'm almost through for this swimming area and head to the ne next one here in just a few minutes all right, let's keep going. Well, I'm gonna go down to the next swim hole. I uh, pulled up at the second one, and there was actually somebody there detecting, so I just let him have that whole area, and I'm gonna skip over it and come on down to this third one. And then I'll head in and hit that lake beside my house one more time this afternoon or this evening. Uh, I found one ring here, and hopefully I can find another one. So let's get in the water, see what we come up with. I was getting a real scratchy 71, 72, and I like those kind of signals. In fact, I like all kind of odd signals, like an 83, an 85, 89, a 93. Those are always seems to be rings on my AT Pro. And I'm looking down, I see something shiny. I'm just in about uh, knee deep water. And uh, I'm gonna take you down and let you look at this. I think it's a ring. It's a ring. Uh, I think it's just going to be a junker though. Uh, I don't think it's going to be, I don't know. I don't see any markings in it. It's a stainless steel ring. Uh, maybe, I don't know, ringing up a 72, 71, it shouldn't be a stainless steel. Um, I don't know what that is. We'll look at it later on and see what it is. But anyway, hey, I just got in the water. I haven't walked 30 feet. This is my first target. All right, let's keep on going. Not too far from that ring, just right over there, I got an, uh, Kind of a low tone, like a 48, but uh, it's a, actually a silver, a silver earring. I can tell by the color of it. It's a, uh, that'll shine up really nice. So silver earring, all right. And uh, I think it's aluminum ring is what I got. All right, it just tells me it hasn't been hit in the shallow. So uh, maybe I'll find a good ring. Let's let's go for that. All right, let's keep going. 
All right, I moved on to the last two lakes for this video. What I get is what I get, and you guys will see it. So let's jump in the water. Let's see if we find anything. I got this 71, 72, up to 74, jumping all around. I thought it was going to be a zinc penny. End up, looks like a uh, tungsten, a tungsten ring. And so I haven't dug many of these. Just one this year. This is my second one. Uh, pretty big. I think it's even bigger than my finger. All right. Uh, that's a good sign. Out here, a little bit over waist deep. And uh, I've got a earring and you got that little piece of necklace and a quarter. And now I've got this ring. All right. Let's keep on going and see what else we can find. Nice silver ring, ringing up as an 84 right here. It's got some diamond etch design on it. It hasn't been in the water too long, but I'm, you can see I'm out there about five and a half feet deep. And that's my strategy. Everybody else is kind of hitting this uh, swimming area, but they're all, and I'm just trying to stay deeper than everybody else. And uh, so far it's, it's paid off. I've gotten uh, two rings plus that other ring the other day and that uh, dog tag. So three rings and a, a nice necklace dog tag by just staying in the deep water. I'm, I'm right now, I'm just right here, but I'm a little bit further out, I'm just filming, I'm, I'm coming in a little shallow. But anyway, it's paying off, getting off in the very deep, deeper than anybody can get. I can barely get these, these signals myself. All right, uh, let's keep on going. I got one more lake to hit before the evening is over and we'll see what we can get there as well. So let's keep going. Uh, as I promised, I was gonna give you a, a trivia question as I'm on my way to another lake. So. What were, a couple of videos back, it was entitled, My First in 2020. What were the two things that were my first in 2020? The first one to answer that correctly will win a Preacher Digger sticker and maybe something else. So, write it in the comments and we'll see who the first one is and I'll see you back out in the water. <laughs> digging a 48 out here I stayed with it I started to give up on it because a lot of foil and trash out here but it looks like a bubble gum machine ring you can see it's a kind of one size fits all it's kind of a I guess that's a cow's head or something hey it's a ring hey it's something it's better than nothing all right I was hoping it'd be a, a stainless ring but it's just a, a junker so we'll keep on going <laughs> We got another 76, 77 signal. Another wedding band here. I think it's just gonna be copper. Uh, I've got another target down there. I don't know if that's the second part of that. I'm gonna go down and see if we can get that one too. So, all right, that's ring number five on this uh, video. So let's keep on going. Up in that same hole, I was getting a, uh, a uh, silver chain. It was ringing up really low, like a 43. So it uh, must have been the ring was on top of the chain, or on the chain, or the ring was on, in the chain, or whatever. But uh, hey, I'll take that any day. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I made it back from the lakes. I spent 13 hours at the lakes yesterday. And I got back late, and so I didn't have time to do a wrap-up. So I came out here to do the wrap-up for you today, where I can take my time and lay it all out. But yeah, 13 hours in the lakes. And you know, as you heard in the video, uh, let me give you a kind of a water lake detecting tip uh, that I want to give you. Um, in the video, you heard me say that there was a guy in the, the swimming area. And you know, sometimes that's a little frustrating. You travel so far and you get there and there's somebody else actually in the, uh, the, the lake detecting ahead of you. And you know, that's just the name of the game. You know, early bird gets the worm and sometimes you're the first one out there and you get all the stuff and sometimes you have to go back out there and, and hunt afterwards. And there was on two occasions, there was somebody else in the swimming areas, you know, and I found myself getting discouraged and I got to thinking about it. You know, that's the, that's the way we are, you know, it's just if you're out there first, you get on top of it. And, and a lot of times you can go out there and you can share the pool and people don't care and you meet new friends. And so 
But I usually, when I see someone else in the water, I just give them the whole swimming area. Let them have their fun, let them have their time, and I'll get it on the next trip. But here's my water hunting tip for the day. Just like on land and yards, a yard is never hunted out. Also in a swim area, not everything is hunted out. Especially in a big swimming area, uh, it just takes a quarter of an inch and you done missed a quarter or a ring. And so uh, go out there and, and hunt it anyway after they leave and, and because you're still going to find stuff that they missed. But one thing that I did in this video, and if you look, a lot of my finds in the, my last video and this video, you'll see me out there at shoulder deep, chin deep water. And a lot of times I'm just floating on my tiptoes trying to get the, the next target. And what it is, a lot of people focus in the heart of the swimming area. They're out there hitting the, the waist deep to mid thigh deep at level and hitting all that area. And... Um, and that's where a lot of the rings are but because it's already been hunted out and uh, the other areas that i've done were hunted as well um i uh decided that i was going to go out in the very deep and so that's the tip that i want to give you sometimes when you feel like things are hunted out don't be discouraged and leave that's number one tip number two tip don't uh, go out in the deep hunt as deep as you can if you're tall i'm six foot two and i have a long handle scoop and so i can get out there and i can get in the deep area and a lot of the rings that you find, see, saw in this video, uh, a lot of things the treasure I found was in that deep water. And so that's the uh, the thing I want you to do in the second uh, tip is uh, go out in the deep ends and the perimeters of the swim area, not just the heart of it, because that's where uh, they're going to miss some things right there. So, hey, that's the metal detecting, water detecting hunt tip, tip, hunting tips of the day. So. All right, I got everything laid out. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I got. I had a real good, epic day at the lake. So let me show you what I got. All right, I'm hunting again with my AT Pro. I have the AT Max. I have the waterproof Equinox 800 and CTX 3030, but I just love hunting with my AT Pro. My I hunt on uh, custom mode. Uh, my discrimination is at 30, and my sensitivity is down one bar. And I hunt with the uh, six inch coil because it fits perfectly inside this little scoop that I have there. There's my scoop cam. I hunt with these amphibian headphones, which are really good. And so that's my setup. So here's the trash. Uh, there's all my aluminum I dug, a pickle jar lid, some aluminum cap, caps, uh, some nails. I dig these because they ring up in the 40s real scratchy, sometimes like a necklace or a, a stainless steel ring. Some fishing stuff. Here's all my pull tabs that I dug, all the different bottle caps. I haven't dug these in a while, but I dug two, and it's uh, usually where the lakes where a lot of kids are swimming. Uh, these are vape pens, I believe is what they are. First time I ever dug a pair of um, uh, toenail clippers, but I did. Hey, I got all these in the same area. How about that? Got me some hot rods today. Yeah, check it out. I'll put that in my toy collection. I have three huge jars of these things. I keep them all. All right, here's my pennies. There's 5, 10, 15, 21 pennies. We got three nickels, and we got 5, 10, 11, 12 dimes. We ended up with uh, one, two, three dollars and 25 cents in quarters. And then got those two uh, earrings just side by side, those big loop earrings. I got some uh, little studs. This one right here is actually silver. And that's a silver earring. The rest of it's just cosmetic stuff. First time I ever got a gold body pin with a stone on it. That must be a little girl's. Another little, little girl's bracelet right there. Got this one. That's a really nice. It's not silver. Uh-oh, sorry about that. The wind is blowing really hard here. And let me get that straightened back out for you. Anyway, it's not silver. and uh, But it's a very pretty stones and things like that. Ah, it's a nice bracelet. And um, I... Uh, Got a few necklaces, got a real nice dog tag, found that out in about six foot of water. That out in about five foot of water. And that, uh, not too deep on that one. Got that cross, it happened to be about five and a half foot of water as well. Got a couple of chains. I've got, um, let me get these rings out of the way. This one here, I don't, I think it's maybe just silver plate. I couldn't get a marking on it, but this one here is marked 925. It's a nice silver rope chain, check that out. And it was actually in the same hole as this ring right here. I don't know if it was together. It just happened to be dropped on the same place. Got a couple of junk rings. That was ringing up like a 72. Forgive me if the wind's out, you know, blowing in the microphone. I got a little cow ring on that one. Got a couple of wedding bands. 
Uh, this one I thought was white gold, but it's not. It's just going to be a, a costume as well. And then we got a nice tungsten ring. Black tungsten, big, bigger than my finger. And then we got a nice silver uh, ring here. That rang up really good at like an 84. But there's the trash. And here's all the treasures. Had an epic day out at the lake today. Got earrings. We got bobby pins. We got bracelets. We got necklaces. We got chains. And we got rings. Got one, two, three, four, five, six rings. How about that? So, like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what's sitting out here on the back of your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what's sitting up in heaven, my friends. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. And God bless.